Mark Baston, I guess you'd be looking forward to a game, mate, uh, after a couple of games on the bench for the Phoenix. Yeah, it's um, obviously haven't played a lot in the last month or so, but um, you know, obviously looking forward to um, a pick, obviously a game on the weekend or hopefully Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I've, I've had a couple of reserve team games for the Phoenix, but uh, sort of nothing beats getting down in front of a, a big crowd. Has Ricky talked to you about how he's going to manage you and Glenn over these two games? Uh, not yet, no. So I imagine over the next uh, couple of days we should, should know the team. And uh, everyone together, of course, for the first time since the World Cup. A uh, few stories being told, and uh... yeah, it's, it's it's nice to see everyone again. It's obviously, the guys uh, took off, uh, went their own ways um, pretty quickly after the tournament. Um, yeah, it's nice to catch up with everyone again and um, sort of reminisce a little bit. It's a bit of um, I, I, not confusion is probably the wrong word, but around these games as being just friendlies. But I mean, how's the team approaching them? Are you, I mean, I don't <laughs> obviously probably want to win both of them, wouldn't you? Of course, I don't think there's. Yeah, a friendly is a bit misleading. I think I should probably call it something else. Um, there's no such thing really. So, you know, we'll be, we'll be um, going out to win them. Obviously, home in front of hopefully a big crowd. What do you make of the uh, the slow start to the sales so far? You, you mentioned hopefully a big crowd. How important would it, is it to get a big crowd in terms of getting games like this back again? And possibly not jeopardising them with a low turnout like in like the Com Games, for example. <laughs> yeah, obviously, guys want to play in front of the biggest crowd possible. I think for the for um, the sport, um, it, it's 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 important. But um, you know, as a footballer, is all you can do is go and play and play well, and hopefully, um, you know, people want to turn up and watch you play again. Um, so, from my point of view, there's not much I can do about that. What, do, what would you put the the slow sales down to? A recession, a bit of a hangover from the World Cup, or just you perhaps people are just going to walk up on the day? I don't know. Maybe all of the above. You know, um, I'm no expert on it, and um, you know, I'm sure people have a a lot of ideas on you know, why they haven't sold as many tickets, but um, you know, hopefully a lot of people turn up on, on the day and um, you know, hope to get a crowd of over 20,000. Yes, there's, sorry, there's, right. a, there's a few, um, few um, guys on the side who I guess are, are thinking about whether they'll be around for the next World Cup. Have you, um, have you thought about, about that? A bit, yeah. Um, you know, at the moment I'm sort of just seeing how it go. I see uh, um, come back from the World Cup, so I, as most people know I wasn't too sure and um, you know, I just want to get through these games and see how I'm going. And, um, you know, just sort of um, plan things ahead. So I'm, I'm sort of in no rush to make a decision yet. Are you feeling any sort of extra nerves having not played for a little while at A-League level, uh, going, being thrown into an international? No, not really. Um, I've sort of um, been injured a lot, obviously, in the past and haven't come in and played games and um, felt I've done all right. So you know, having a month, month off is really not, not a big issue for me. So match practice for a goal might not be as important to say a field player, you know? It is it is important, but I feel like I've had plenty of football sort of in the last obviously few months and a month off's not gonna be um, the end of the world for me. What do you make of Honduras and do you get nightmares when you see that goal of the uh, the season being replayed as it was last night or the night before? Uh, Figaro? Um yeah, not, not really, no. Um, no, they're a quality quality team, so um, obviously at the World Cup and uh, is um, every team that makes the World Cup is obviously going to be a decent team, so it's going to be tough for us. And I think um, you know, maybe a lot of people are underestimating them. Um, um, so it's going to be a big challenge, and obviously Paraguay, obviously an even bigger challenge. Mark, do you feel there's a bit more public expectation of the White Star following the World Cup? Yeah, I think there is, but I think that's not a bad thing. I think um, you know, we're a lot higher profile now, and um, maybe people get. A little carried away with it. I think we've been punching well above our weight. Um, so, you know, saying that, we're going out to obviously win a game of football. So, um, we've shown there's no reason why we can't.